Welcome back, you beauties. There's a reason why we are so excited this morning. And yes, we always love it when radio takes over TV or maybe TV tries its hand at radio. I don't know what this is, but we love it even more when there is a powerful drive behind it. And as the winter chill sets in, Cape Town rallies once again for the annual Keep Cape Town Warm campaign. We have seen the difference it's made and it's going to help so much this year. A heartwarming initiative that has been making a very positive and big impact for years now. And joining us in studio to discuss this vital efforts are none other than Stan Mars, host of Good Hope FM's Breakfast Show, and the incredible Lynette Jafter, the Assistant Business Investment Manager for the Community Chest, and they do incredible work. Uh, work. And of course, we are broadcasting live across the entire place, which I love, because these are the people we want to help. These are the people that we are emotionally connected to in the work that we do. Um, we do it every once in a while. We dip our toes, and you do it every day, mm -hmm. Lynette. So thank you so much. And you've got that front-facing element of having to go get the money, having to go make these dreams a reality. So based on what you've achieved, what motivates you? Why is this such a, a, an amazing thing to be a part of? Well, as part of Community Chest, we've always seen the need. That is one of our objectives, to ensure that we alleviate poverty. And we see what happens on the streets. We see what happens. In a, there's so much it's poverty hectic. around. Yeah. And so it's our mission to ensure that we keep Cape Town warm. And this drive that we're having with Good Up FM has really proven to be the highlight of, of the winter season. Brilliant. Um, because we need the airtime, buddy. I think you understand, <laughs> and, and some of your bosses are probably standing here, so I don't want to say this too loud, but your actual employers are those listening right now, those watching us yeah. right now. Yeah. That's the trust-based relationship. Yeah. That's the emotional connection we have, and that, that's the reason why you're so good at what you do. Why do this campaign? Because this is taking it a step further, man. So, so many moons ago, I was involved with a very similar campaign, and, and the, the tagline was, you can't teach a hungry child. Mm. So as much as you can't teach a hungry child, you also can't teach a child that's cold, a child that doesn't have, that's not getting a good sleep. And our winters are, are getting colder, the summers are getting hotter, so there's a lot of change in the air. And what better way just to reach out to the community and to see the amazing work that they do at Community Chest. They do incredible work. So we've been doing this for the last couple of years. We merge, we're trying our bit, but I must also applaud uh, everyone that's been part of it because what we're needing is a blanket, one yeah. blanket. It can be a used blanket, you can wash it, you can bring it again, somebody can utilize it. We're looking for non perishables, we're looking for monetary donations, anything you can. And I always say, if you don't have anything to give, bring yourself. Yeah, just in support. Time. Just bring just yourself. Connect. Your time, your energy, connect, see what it's about. It is so, so important to think about the next man, the next person, the next child out there. Oh, and I think that's where it gets real. And Lynette, yeah. I'm going to put it to you here because I think most of us have a very practiced apathy, um, denial to live through yeah. these sorts of winters when you wake up and you drive my drive here this morning passing a number of people who you know spent the night outside. Just how real does it get when the winter months kick in? How bad is the situation here in the mother city in that it's sense? Actually, I drive to town every day and if I just see the people at the castle alone, yeah. I'm not even speaking about the people on the, under the bridge and those uh, on the roads in Loop, Long, wherever you go, even in the Grassy Park area, there's always people on the road. And I can't imagine what it must be like for them not to even have a blanket. So we've been extremely grateful to the schools, to the communities who have come forward to donate that blanket and that non perishable because hunger is the other thing. Yeah. We cannot begin to imagine the hunger that people are experiencing besides the coldness. Well, it's layers of trauma, unfortunately, yeah. that are getting layered into a young generation. And I think, for me, the early childhood development becomes a massive focus because once they've gone through that gateway, that's it. Um, if, if, if they are hit yeah. too hard at that phase of life, it can cost them for the rest of their life. I love the fact that you've made this so simple. I don't want to say so easy because there is something very powerful and big about doing something for someone else. We've seen it over the last five years the difference it can make just that notion there is something about making it easy 
that blows your mind when you see how people respond. I'm a firm believer, if you give a person a chance, they will do the right thing. How do you feel about the people that are stepping up for this campaign? I think it's been incredible. There's a lot of corporates that have jumped on, but obviously we need more. There, there's, there's no amount of, okay, we've reached the target, there's no target, because there's no end to poverty. <laughs> there's, there's always no a end. plus one. Yeah. Yeah. There is always a it plus always one. It always escalates. If you need a 10 blankets this year, you need 20 next year. But I was also thinking now while we're sitting here, we actually need to step up in the next mm. uh, few years and keep South Africa warm. Yeah. It's cold out there, it's desperate out there, but it's empowered out there. This is the crazy thing. We've got a new generation of young South Africans that are connected to a global village now. They see themselves represented all over the world and they are purpose driven. So let's tap into your purpose, Lynette. How do we feed into what you need? We are speaking to the nation right now. The nation is listening, they're watching. We're doing this in simulcast. What do you need people to rally to you for? How can we help you? Like Stan has said, you know, it's not about giving large sums of money. But when we have corporates, we have communities on board, it really assists us as community chairs. Oh. So if anybody wants to assist us, they can either go onto our website, there's SnapScan, all our banking yes. details are there. And it's like you also said previously, Every little rand helps. Imagine a million people giving a rand. We'll have a million rand. What? We'll be able to, you know, really uh, put this campaign way out there. Incremental, just pull it together. And I love the fact that you highlighted this issue of respect and how you treat people. Yeah. Stan, you've seen this firsthand, and I think our job involves a huge amount of empathy and understanding, putting yourself in someone's shoes so you can fully understand. What is the difference, those moments that you've been a part of, when you see this all come together in the right way? What effect does this have? Uh, well, obviously... And I'm a cry risk, okay, so don't make me cry. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, the big thing is when, when we use platforms like these, and I think one of the fundamental reasons that I am doing what I'm doing today was always there was an element to help. Yeah. Mm. You always want to help. So you've got this platform, you talk to hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, you want to help. And to see the same goosebumps. Yeah. When you see it get together, when you see the amount of people that have come, people that have come out to support, you know people are being helped. Mm. There's no better feeling because money can't buy that feeling. You know that money yeah. can't buy that feeling. So it comes together. However, in, in saying that, there's no such thing as enough. We need more. We always need more. All, all parties, all corporates, all individuals. Like I said, if you can't give money, if you can't give non-perishable, Bring yourself. Mm. Just a guys and me in support. Just a bit of respect, a bit of yeah. mentoring, just a Dignity. bit of care. Yeah. Maybe even just a cuddle. You would be amazed at how much the human connection Do you want the cuddles? I'm, you can see I've been fishing for cuddles <laughs> all morning, man. That's fine. I'm going to pretend I don't have a microphone on your set the whole day so just so I can be close to you. The bottom line is you have an opportunity now to literally and figuratively embrace a, a section of community that desperately, desperately needs us right now. Um, so we'll keep all of the details up. We're going to continue with this amazing team all morning. We love them so much and we love you for helping. We are going to keep Cape Town warm this winter. Love you, man.